I'll be using two colors for the checkered pattern which is magenta and also pink and then I'll be using off-white for the ruffles. The, the written pattern and materials are in the description box so make sure to check that out. Now let's get started. So I'll be using 3.5ml hook, so first you are just going to make a regular stamp knot, so to make a stamp knot, just place the yarn onto your index finger like this, so you're going to use your finger to twist the yarn, so just twist it and kind of like make an S shape, now place the yarn on top and pull through the yarn so that it makes a loop like this. Now insert your hook and then make 3 chain. So to make the chain, you're just going to yarn over and pull through the loop like this. So I'll continue making 2 more chain and the last chain. Now in the second chain, you're going to make 1 single crochet. So just insert your hook, yarn over. Once you have 2 loops on your hook, you're going to change your color into your next color. So just make a loop like this and grab the loop with your crochet hook and pull through the two loops that is on your hook. That is how you're going to change your color. Now make one single crochet again in the next stitch. Now you have two stitches, one pink and one magenta. Then chain one and then turn your hook to the back and you are now going to be carrying these two yarn while you work over the single crochet. So just place it at the back like this and then make an increase in the first stitch so an increase meaning you have to insert two single crochet into the same stitch before you finish off the second stitch grab onto the pin yarn and then pull through the two loops I'm just gonna pull this to adjust the single crochet a little bit so in the next stage, you're going to insert two single crochet in the same stage, meaning you're going to make an increase. So one single crochet, and then before you finish off this last single crochet, you're going to change your color into your next color. So just pull through the two loops. Now chain one. Please note where is the back and front of your project so that you will always carry the non-working yarn and also excess yarn at the back side as you have to make sure that the front is always neat. This is the back and then this is the front. Now you will always have to make sure that you carry the non-working yarn at the back like this. Now I am going to work this single crochet at the front side so the non-working yarn is going to be placed at the back like this. So first you're going to insert an increase in the first stitch and remember to carry the non-working yarn at the back. One. And two. Now in the next stitch you're going to insert one single crochet and before you finish off the single crochet change your color into the next color like so and adjust the yarn a little bit and then in the next stitch you're going to insert one single crochet then in the last stitch you're going to insert an increase so one and two then start the next round by chaining one and turn your work and then in the first stage, you are going to insert an increase. So basically, just insert two single crochet into the same stitch. And then go ahead and make one single crochet in the next two stitches. Before you finish off this last stitch, go ahead and sack your next color and pull through the two loops. And then bring the non-working yarn to the back because right now we are working at the back side. Next, just make two single crochet, which means inserting one single crochet in the next two stitches. Then one single crochet again in the next stitch. And then in the last stitch, insert one increase. One. And before I finish off this last stitch, grab the next color and pull through the two loops. Start the next round by chaining one and then turn your work and bring the non-working yarn to the back like this now make one single crochet and before you finish off the single crochet change your color into the next color again remember to carry the non-working yarn at the back now 
with your next color you're going to make an increase and then insert one single crochet in the next two stitches Then, before you finish up this last stitch, grab onto the pin yarn and pull through the two loops. And then with your pin yarn, go ahead and make one single crochet into the next two stitches. Then the second single crochet. And then make an increase, so one. And before you finish up this last stitch, grab onto the magenta yarn and pull through the two loops. And then in the last stitch, you're going to insert one single crochet. And then to start round 6, we're going to chain 1 and turn your work to the back. And remember to carry the non-working yarn again at the back and make an increase in the first stitch, so 1. And before you finish off the last stitch, change your color again. I'm just gonna adjust this a little. And in the next stitch, you're going to insert one single crochet. And then in the next stitch, insert an increase one and two. And make one single crochet in the next two stitches. One. And before you finish off this last stitch, change your color again. Bring the non-working yarn to the back and then make one single crochet in the next two stitches. One. And two. And then insert an increase right there. One. And two. And make one single crochet then change your color again then in the last stitch insert two single crochet into the same stitch so just insert your hook yarn over and pull up a loop and yarn over and pull through two and then again make another one single crochet and then before you finish off this last stitch grab onto your next color and pull through the two loops and then chain one and turn your work and place the non-working yarn again at the back in the first stitch make one increase and remember to carry the non-working yarn so one so make one increase so one and two and then insert one single crochet in the next stitch so before you finish up this last stitch change your yarn again and pull through the two loops and then make five single crochet basically you're going to insert one single crochet in the next five stitches so three four and before i finish up this fifth stitch change the color again and then make five single crochet so one two three four again before i finish up this last stitch change the color again and then make one single crochet and then in the last stitch you're going to insert one increase so basically you're going to insert two single crochet two single crochet into the same stitch Now moving on to round 8, just chain 1 and turn your work again and bring the non-working yarn to the front as you are working at the back side. Now in the first 2 stitches, you are going to insert 1 single crochet. So 1 and then 2. And then in this stitch, you are going to insert 1 increase. So just insert 2 single crochet into the same stitch. And before you finish off the single crochet, go ahead and change your color again and bring the non-working yarn to the back. And then make 5 single crochet. So insert 1 single crochet in the next 5 stitches. 2 3 4 and Before I finish up this stitch, 
I am going to change my color again and adjust this a little bit. Then insert one single crochet in the next five stitches. So one, two, three, four. And before I finish off this stitch, wrap onto your next color and change your yarn again and bring the non-working yarn to the back. And then in this stitch, right here, if you can see it, you are going to insert an increase. And then you're going to make one single crochet in the next two stitches. Before you finish up this last stitch, go ahead and change your color again into your next color. So just grab onto it and pull through the two loops and then chain one. And then I'm just going to adjust this a little and then bring the non working yarn to the back. And then in the first stitch, you're going to insert one single crochet. And before you finish up the single crochet, just go ahead and change your color again. Then in the next stitch, you're going to insert an increase. So one and two and then insert one single crochet in the next two stitches so one and then before you finish off the last stitch change your color and make five single crochet basically just insert one single crochet in the next five stitches and then in the last stitch you're going to change your color again and then insert one single crochet in the next five stitches. Two, three, four. Again, change your color again in the last stitch. Then make one single crochet in the next two stitches. So one, and then two and insert an increase one and then before you finish off the increase change your color again and adjust the single crochet and then insert one single crochet into the last stitch And so this is how it looks like so far so for round 10 just chain one and then turn your work to the back now in the first stage you're going to make an increase and remember to carry the non-working yarn at the back so one and then before you finish up the increase go ahead and change your color again just grab onto the yarn and pull through both loops and then just adjust the single crochet a little and then you're going to insert one single crochet in the next three stitches one two and three and then in this stitch insert an increase and before you finish off the increase remember to change your color again and then bring the not working yarn to the back and then insert one single crochet in the next five stitches two three four and before i finish up this stitch i'm going to change my color again and then just go ahead and insert one single crochet in the next five stitches so two three four and then in the last stitch remember to change your color again and bring the non-working yarn to the back and then in this stitch right here you are going to insert an increase so make two single crochet into the same stitch and then make one single crochet in the next three stitches one two and then before you finish off this stitch change your yarn again into your second color pull through the two loops and then in the last stitch insert one increase 
one. And then before you finish off this stitch, change your color again and then chain one and adjust the yarn and then bring the non-working yarn to the back and then now in the two stitches you are going to insert one single crochet and then pick up the next color again and pull through the two loops so basically for this round you are just going to insert one single crochet in every stitch but remember to change the color accordingly like after you have done the 5 single crochet, you have to change your color again to make the checkered pattern. So that is basically how you are going to do this round. So just continue this until the end of this round. And I'll see you once you're done with this round. Now I am making the last 2 stitches. So I am just going to insert 1 single crochet in each stitch. the last stitch so this is how it looks like now you are just going to repeat this for three more rounds basically just insert one single crochet in every stitch but remember to change your color accordingly so that the checkered pattern came out perfectly if you are kind of like confused with the pattern you can refer to my written pattern down at the description box now i am doing the last two stitches And now this is my last stitch, so now I am going to change my color again into the pink yarn and then chain one. So basically for this round, it is the same exact step as the previous round, but we are just going to be changing the color position because every four rows we have to change the checkered pattern. So now just continue inserting one single crochet until the end of this round and remember to change the color according to each of the color position to make the checkered pattern and if you are kind of confused you can see on the top right of your screen there is some guide written there so you can use that as your guide. Once you're done you're going to chain one. So starting from this round, we will start doing our decrease. So when doing the first and also last decrease, you are not going to carry the non-working cell. So I am going to show you why. So when you turn your work to the front, you can see there is some pink yarn showing through and this will give an untidy look to your heart coaster and we don't want that. Now we are going to make our first decrease. First insert your hook into the first stitch and yarn over and pull up a loop and then insert it again into the second stitch yarn over and pull up a loop and then pull through all three loops with the pink yarn or your other color and then bring the non-working yarn to the back so with your pink yarn you're going to insert one single crochet in the next five stitches so one oh also i forgot to show you the front this is how it looks like when you are not carrying non-working yarn when doing the first decrease so just continue inserting one single crochet three four and before i finish off this last stitch i'm going to change my color and then bring my non-working yarn at the back and i'm going to insert one single crochet in the next five stitches Again, before you finish off this last stitch, go ahead and change your color again. And then bring the non-working yarn to the back. Now continue inserting one single crochet until you are left with two stitches and remember to change your color. So, once you have reached the last two stitches, you are going to insert one decrease and remember not to carry the non-working yarn. Now insert your hook into the first stitch and pull up a loop and then insert it again and pull up a loop. And then with your second color, just yarn over and pull through all three. Now you're going to chain one and then turn your work. First, you're going to do one decrease in the first two stitches. 
I'll insert your hook and then pull up a loop and then insert your hook again and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through all three loops. Now you're going to make four single crochet. So basically just insert one single crochet in the next four stitches. Before you finish off this last stitch, change your color to the second color. And then you're going to make four single crochet. So two, three, and four. And then in the last stitch, you are going to make one slip stitch. So you're just going to insert your hook, yarn over and pull up a loop and then pull through the loop. Now chain one and turn your work. Now we are only going to be working at this side right here. You don't have to work on this side. Because, because right now we are making the curve that is on top of the heart shape. So right now we are working on the left curve. So first you are going to do a decrease in the slip stitch right there and also the second stitch. So just yarn over and pull through all three. And then start carrying the non-working tail and make three single crochet. Basically just insert one single crochet in the next three stitches. And before you finish off the third stitch, grab your yarn and change your color and bring the non-working yarn to the back. Now, you are going to make three single crochet again. So, one, two, and three. And then in these two stitches, you are going to insert a decrease. And you don't have to carry the non-working yarn. So, just make one decrease. And then change your color into the second color. So just grab onto it and pull through all three. Then chain one. Then you're going to make one decrease in the two stitches. And then insert two single crochet. One. And before you finish up this last stitch, change your color again and make two single crochet one and two and then in the last two stitches insert one decrease now just yarn over and pull through all three then chain one and turn your work now make a decrease again in the two stitches And then start carrying the non-working yarn and make one single crochet in the next stitch. Now change your color again and make one single crochet. And then insert a decrease again in the last two stitches. Now chain one. And now just grab your scissors and cut the excess yarn and pull through the yarn. And then just pull the part where you chain one so that it's tightened up. Now you're going to repeat the same step for the left part. It is the same step, just, the, just a different color position. Now we are going to start by making the right curve. So just insert your hook into the first stitch. Now take your opposite color and just pull up a loop and then chain one. Now you're going to take the tail and bring it to the back so that you can carry it as you work over the single crochet. Now insert your hook into the same stitch as the chain one and then insert it again in the next stitch and pull up a loop. Now you're going to make a decrease so just yarn over and pull through all three. Now you are going to make four single crochet so just insert one single crochet in the next four stitches. So once you reach the last stitch, you're going to grab your second color and put it onto your hook like this. And you can hold it at the back like this to give you more control. So just yarn over and pull through two. And then bring the tail to the back and work over it as you make the single crochet. So continue making four single crochet. Four and now.
Now in the last stitch, you're going to insert one slip stitch. So insert your hook and pull through. Now chain one and turn your work. And you're going to do a decrease in the first two stitches. So insert your hook and pull up a loop. And then insert it again and pull up a loop. Yarn over and pull through all three. Next, you're going to do three single crochet. So one, two, and before you finish off this last stitch, grab onto your second color and then make three single crochet. One, two, and three. And then make a decrease in the last two stitches and change your color before you finish off the decrease and chain one now turn your work and you're going to do a decrease in the first two stitches and you don't have to carry the non-working yarn and then make two single crochet meaning insert one single crochet in the next two stitches and remember to carry your non-working yarn so one and then before you finish off this stitch, pick up the second color and pull through two loops. And then insert two single crochet, which means one single crochet in the next two stitches. So one and two. And then insert a decrease in the last two stitches. Again, chain one and turn your work. And you're going to insert a decrease again in the first two stitches and then insert one single crochet and before you finish off the single crochet remember to pick up your next color now insert one single crochet with your second color and lastly you're going to make a decrease and you don't have to carry the non-working and chain one now grab your scissors and cut your yarn and pull through the yarn like this and now just pull it so that the chain one tighten up so right now your heart coaster will look like this it will look lumpy and wiggly like this don't worry we are going to fix this later on and I will show you how to fix this but right now we are going to move on to make the ruffles first and then we'll move on to fix the heart coaster so to start making the ruffles you have to start at the center of your heart coaster because as you can see the first ruffles is at the center and when you go downwards the ruffles is also at the center which makes your heart coaster look so much more prettier so we are going to start by making single crochet all around the heart coaster and to start you have to count five stitches as you can see there is some spaces between each of these rows so you have to count five stitches one two three four and five so you have to make sure that the third stitch is at the center as you can see one two and the third stitch at the center and then four and five so insert your hook in the first stitch and grab onto your yarn for the ruffles and pull up a loop and then chain one and then in the same stitch you're going to insert one single crochet and then in the next stitch so the trick for this is you are just going to insert at any space that you find and also to find the space you can see that there is spaces in each of the rows so just insert the single crochet in all of the spaces and you have to make sure that at the end you have 55 stitches this is really important for the ruffle so please count your stitches while doing this so this is the example of these spaces so now you can just insert one single crochet in each stitch until the end of this round
now I am doing the last stitch. So now you have to count your stitches and make sure that you have 55 stitches. This is really important. So if you have less than 55 stitches, you can add more stitches and please add your stitches accordingly. And if you have more than 55 stitches, you can lessen your stitches. Now you're going to insert a slip stitch into the first single crochet. I'm just gonna side send the slip stitch a little by pulling the loop. And then you're going to chain one. And then you're going to make one slip stitch into the same space. Then you're going to skip this and make six double crochet into the same stitch. So just yarn over and insert your hook. Pull up a loop, yarn over, pull through two, and pull through two. That is how you're going to do the double crochet. So just insert the double crochet until you have a total of six double crochet in the same stitch. Now once you're done, you're going to skip this stitch and make a slip stitch into the next stitch and then you're going to skip this stitch again and insert six double crochet into the next stitch so insert one double crochet two three four five six and then again skip the next stitch and make a slip stitch into the next so just insert your hook pull up a loop and pull through so you're going to repeat this pattern until the end of this round now i'm just going to show you how to do the ruffles at the center so Insert your hook and make a slip stitch And then you're going to skip that stitch and insert six double crochet into the next stitch Which is placed at the center of your heart shape. So just insert six double crochet skip the next stitch and insert a slip stitch in the next so i'll just continue making it until the end of this round and i'll see you once you're done right now i am making the last ruffles so i'm just gonna insert my six double crochet Once you're done with the six double crochet, just take your scissors and cut your yarn and leave a long tail so that you can make an invisible joint. So take your darning needle and now you are going to insert your needle into the first slip stitch of the round. So just insert it like this and pull through. And then you are going to insert your needle into the next stitch right here then you're just going to repeat this step so that the invisible joint is secure then turn your work to the back and now go ahead and weave in the excess yarn if you have many excess yarn like i did you can just cut it if you already work over it when doing the single crochet but if you don't carry it while doing the single crochet you have to weave it in first and then cut it now this is how the back looks like so i'm going to show you how to block the shape because as you can see the shape is kind of like lumpy so to block the shape you will need water you can use a bowl of water or just 
use a spray bottle like I did. So you're just going to spray your hard coaster until it is done. So just don't spray it or dip it in water until it is dripping wet. Just make sure that it is just damp or just a little wet. Also remember to spray the back and also the front of your coaster. So once you're done, you're going to place your hot coaster on top of your iron board. Then I'm just gonna use my steamer and steam it a little bit like this. Just steam it until it's fully flat. And if you don't have a steamer, you can just use your iron. And don't press it too hard like this. Just press it lightly on top of your coaster. And just do that until your coaster is fully flat. Once you are done doing the front, you are going to flip it to the back. Like this. And then you are going to steam the back too. Like so until it is hot and flat. Finally, the last step is you're just going to let your coaster fully cool down and once it's cold, you can take it and use it as your coaster. Mm -hmm.